do you usually do in a bottle of cough syrup before taking it? That's right, you shake it first. Some cough syrups needs to be shaken before taking it. That is because if you look closely in the liquid cough syrup, there are actually small particles scattered in the liquid. And if you didn't shake the cough syrup, these particles may be left at the bottom of the bottle. And if you didn't shake it, your cough medicine might be less effective. This kind of mixture is called suspension. What is suspension? Suspensions are heterogeneous mixtures with larger particles suspended in a gas or liquid. In suspension, these suspending particles settle out when left undisturbed. And when shaken or steered, the particles in a suspension seem to be evenly distributed throughout the mixture. However, the particles still remain visible as they are suspended within the liquid. After some time, some of the particles settle at the bottom of the container. Let me show you other examples of suspension. Do you love chocolate drink? A chocolate drink is made up of cocoa powder milk, and sweetener dissolved in water. However, when chocolate drink is left for some time, some of the solutes end up settling at the bottom of the glass. This is because cocoa powder does not really fully dissolve in water. The fine solid particles just float or are suspended in the water. Since the cocoa particles are very light, it takes time for them to sink at the bottom. Therefore, Chocolate drink is a suspension. The same will happen if you mix water and flour, sand and water, soil and water, pebbles and water, juice powder and water. oil and water, and many more. These are all examples of suspension. Did you know that our blood is also suspension? That's right! When a blood inside a test tube undergo process of centrifugation, You will clearly see that plasma is separated in blood cells. Therefore, if two substances doesn't mix well, it is suspension. Now you know everything about suspension. Let us now try to answer these questions.